Good day everybody. My name is Craig from Safi Software. Today we will do a short example in which we will use the tool of automated design for columns with compressive and biaxial bending forces. This example presents four different columns. Two are five meters high and two are seven meters high. There are two types of column shapes, a round section of 500 millimeters in diameter and a rectangular section of 600 millimeters by 400 millimeters. These sections are in 40 MPA concrete. Each column is fixed at its bottom joints and is free of movement at its top joints. Each beam is sustaining the same load condition, an unfactored axial load of 2500 kilonewtons and a bending moment of 150 kilonewton meters in the clockwise direction. We can notice that the rectangular beams are bended in these strong axes. In order to facilitate the comparison of the reinforcement between each column, we will be using the same reinforced concrete column design groups for this example. This group is using a 25 longitudinal reinforcement bar and 10 for the ties and spiral reinforcement. Then this design group will have their reinforcement automatically determined by the software for each column. Once we launch the analysis in the reinforced concrete design mode, we have a warning message concerning one of our columns. If it is the column number three, it is possible to find it with the search tool using control F and entering member number three. We can see the specific member in orange pointed by this arrow. We can observe the maximal limit state of each column to see what is wrong with column number three here, and we can see that its limit state is at 1.24. If we look at the interaction diagram on this column, we can see that the column fails in the x-axis. We can also notice that all of the other columns resist with no problem. In order to solve the problem with this column, we have two choices use either a larger diameter of reinforcement or a larger diameter of column. For this example, we will enlarge the diameter of the concrete column from 500 millimeters to 600 millimeters and launch another analysis in reinforced concrete design mode. We can now see that the section is able to resist. Furthermore, the load is now within the interaction diagram in both directions. Now let's take a look at the different layout of reinforcement in each column. The first section, the shorter circular one, has six reinforcement bars. The third section, the longer one, that now has a 600 millimeter diameter, has also six reinforcement bars. The second section, the short rectangular one, has only four reinforcement bars. The fourth section, seven meters long, has the most bars with eight. For this one, it may be advantageous to enlarge the size of the section in order to reduce the reinforcement. Note that it is always possible to manually modify the disposition of the reinforcement. We can also see the disposition of ties in each column. For example, Column number four has three leg ties at 400 millimeter spacing. For a shorter column, we have two leg ties at 400 millimeters in spacing. I would like to thank you all for your attention and hope to see you soon. 